So I was kind of debating on filming on this trip because if you guys are following the CTFXC, you know that Charles and I are on a surprise RV trip baby moon right now. Bum Thank moon. you, Charles. Thank it's you, Lazy Days. A boom moon. <laughs> A Bamoon? A Bamoon. A Bamoon. We are actually at our third stop, so I just decided because it's such a cool and beautiful place that's very unique that I would pull up the camera and I'd start, you know, vlogging it. But we are at this place. There you go. Every single stop. You done? Yeah, okay. Good job. But we are at this beautiful place. It's like a, is it like a preserve or what is this? Okay, so it's almost like a botanical garden. So anyways, it's beautiful and it's huge and it's all dog friendly, which is kind of hard to find when you're going to like national parks. They have dog friendly trails, but it's kind of few and far between. And I understand why just because of all the wildlife and you kind of have to be respectful of that. So I totally understand that. But Tara found this really beautiful giant Botanical gardens all dog friendly and we decided we'd stop here on our way into Asheville Huh? There's 10 miles of walk hiking trail 10 miles you heard that right 10 miles So I mean check it out so far. It's really beautiful and it's just outside of Asheville I think but this is super beautiful and I'm really happy we stopped here. Well, we're in Asheville. Sorry What are you smelling in there? What's in there? Huh? <laughs> and just so everybody knows that's just a gentle leader on his face and on the girls' faces. Did you see that cave? Yeah. Look at him be a cow. That's why he likes cows so much. I know, you are. Maybe you're half cow. I've never figured out what exactly you are. I think what I like so much about this place so far is the fact that it's just like, I feel like with every turn, you're kind of in like a different element. So like, like we were in like a secret garden and then we were in like a fairy field. I know that sounds weird, but that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. And then now we're like into this like, Exotic, enchanted forest char. You see that way? You can go that way too. There's three ways. There's a, I know. Really cool spot. And it's called the Arbitorium? Arbitorium? Yeah, I can't. Tell Something. You. I have no idea. I'll find out the name and I'll make sure that I put it in the description below, but it's pretty darn cool here. So hey, are you you cold? How are you feeling? Yeah. yeah. It's a brisk 45 degrees outside, and uh, Char didn't pack anything. So guess what he's wearing? My sweatshirt. This is actually so nice, so nice. You know, as much as I love the warmth and I love like being out in the sun and all the fancies of Florida, like it's really nice to get away and get into kind of nature. So I'm really enjoying this. This is actually a cool trip too for little baby girl because Char and I were talking about how we want to do more like family based RV trips. Like we definitely want to take her on a lot of adventures. As much as I love flying because you guys probably know how much I love to fly everywhere. Um, there's just something really awesome about an RV trip. We kind of always talk about how we come across a lot of like interesting places and interesting things that we probably would have never known or discovered if we didn't take an RV or if we didn't take a road trip because 
I mean, think about it. When you get in a plane, you fly to a specific spot. You're usually in that specific spot, and you don't really venture out because you have to rent a car, you have to take an Uber, and sometimes it's just easier just to stay put in that particular area. So, I don't know. I'm a big advocate for RV trips and road trips, and um, I, I know this is definitely going to be something that we're going to do with little one when she comes about. Oh, and by the way, internet. Baby Jay. I'm going to do a little baby update because I've been terrible at them, but we do it almost daily. <laughs> Not almost daily, but we do it quite often on the CTFXC. I am in my third trimester and I am officially now 29 weeks, so it's kind of crazy. She's getting big, kicking a lot, doing a lot of things, but I'm going to go into detail, do a little video about how I've been feeling, what I've been experiencing, things like that. So stay tuned, that's coming out very soon. Not gonna lie, it's a little creepy. I was just saying to Char how uh, this is a little bit Blair Witch Project with the way these wood pieces are all stacked up. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. But because there is a information center right in the background of this film, or right in the background of this vlog, I'm not too worried. I don't think we're gonna get lost. But if we have to recreate the Blair Witch Project, maybe it'll be better than the second one. So here is our next day, uh, the Rutledge Lake RV Park. Super cute, super, super cute. I love it. So Char and I stopped at this like chocolate place. Char of course got chocolate ice cream, dark chocolate ice cream, right? Dark chocolate. And then of course I also got a hot chocolate. I got a Buddha hot chocolate. It's non-dairy, it's made with coconut milk because I wanted to try it because it was really good. But I also got a white chocolate mousse Yumminess. You got an umbrella. And a what? You got an umbrella. That's all right. But we're in downtown Asheville. So we're back at the RV. It's kind of a nice little day. We started it off with like a nice little hike in the morning, kind of a walk around this like beautiful place that Char found. It was perfect for the dogs. Dogs had like three and a half miles. Came back here, got all settled in to this really cute RV park. And um, then we headed downtown to downtown Asheville and stopped at this place. It's called the French Broad Chocolate. My creepy ass husband. You're welcome. It's called the French French Broad Chocolate Factory, I believe. Anyways, everything in there was chocolate. It was amazing. I got some chocolate mousse. Char got some dark chocolate ice cream. And of course, I had to try this new hot chocolate my favorite but I tried it I tried it It was a non-dairy hot chocolate you need the dairy and hot chocolate you need it it was raining and it's cold and we decided to come back here we're actually gonna order a pizza because it's been raining so much so we're not actually going to cook on the grill Char is convinced that we're gonna order a pizza and then he's gonna do grill it I don't I'm just I just let him do what he wants to do you can go watch that on CTFXC to see exactly what happens because I'm a little scared. I might just take my pieces off and let him do whatever he wants. <laughs> kind of wanted just to share today with you guys. Um, I think I'm going to try and do like a catch-up vlog of like a rundown of everything that's happened on the trip as a collaboration thing. But I wanted to get something up so you guys could be a part of this. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys are brand new, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.